Looking for the perfect birthday or anniversary gift or a special date night? Well, then you need Zodart, Seattle's only exotic car rental company. Visit Zodart.com to book an exotic special car for that very special day. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. Today's second date update is kind of the anti-second date update. What does that mean? The girl on the phone doesn't want to date with the guy that she wants us to call. Oh. But she does want some clarification. <laughs> Her name is Steph. Steph, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Um, so this is a different kind of second date update, huh? <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I like how you're laughing. Thanks. <laughs> um, it's just a crazy situation. That's really why I'm calling you guys is because there's nothing in the handbook about how to take care of this. <laughs> what situation are you talking about? Well, I'm a teacher. And, um, you know, I have some lovely students and everything, and um, but I'm single. So on the weekends, I go out. Yeah, single and... teacher. <laughs> like hearing from those. Yeah. Can I get a little PTA conference? Oh, All right. <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> no, you may not. All right. <laughs> no. <You're a> teacher. <laughs> so you're a teacher and you have great students. Yeah, but, you know, I, I am single, so I go out on the weekends and... I was at this bar with my friends, and this this guy comes up to me, and he's like, hey, do I know you? And I'm like, uh, that's a pickup line or something, you know, because I didn't recognize the guy. Right. And and he goes, you're my son's teacher. Oh, and okay. Okay. So, ends up, he actually is. Um, his son Noah is in my class. <laughs> so, I'm hanging with my friends, and then, you know, he just sort of interjects himself into the conversation and and is asking all kinds of questions, trying to, like, actually get to know me. And mm. he's, he's crossing that parent-teacher line. You know, it's becoming a little bit more intimate. And then all of a sudden, he's, like, asking if he could buy me a drink. And, mm -hmm. you know, I say, no, I don't want a drink. I don't want to have that kind of a relationship with him. Um, which, which means he's not cute enough, right? <laughs> well, I mean, he, he's decent looking, but I just... I don't want to date the father of one of my students. Have you ever done that before? No, no, no. no. I have not. Oh, okay. I, I have a coworker who did, and she's no longer a teacher because of it. Oh. Um, so I just distance myself, you know? Okay. So he was just, like, giving you the hard press, and huh? I wanted to buy you drinks and stuff? Yes. And, you know, I clearly said, no, that's okay. I've got my own money. I can, I can get my own drinks. And then he ends up ordering shots for all of us. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Trying to get and the teacher hammered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it kind of seems like he was trying to get me drunk. I don't know. It just, I had that feeling. And I just <laughs> didn't want to, no, I didn't want that. So did you explain your boundaries to him? Well, I was trying. He just was not listening. Um, <laughs> I wanted to be nice because he is the father of one of my students, and I didn't want to cause a rift. Yeah. But he actually asked if we could, me and him could actually go somewhere private and talk and get away from my friends. Oh. And he was like, just come on, let's just sit at the table and just get to know each other. And I was trying to be nice. So I said, okay, we'll sit for a few minutes, but then I have to leave. And I just kind of made a signal to my friends, you know, kind of save me, rescue me. But they were laughing. They were laughing at me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. They probably thought it was hilarious. Oh, yes. I would have done the same thing if I was your friend. Well, I, I really had no choice. So I sat down and talked to him, and he's asking all kinds of questions. And, yeah. It, it must be... It must be awkward when you go to class and have to teach his son now. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is very, very awkward. But the, but that's not the end of it. I oh. finally I finally escaped. Essentially, it felt like I was having to escape. And then he offered to take me home, and I was like, No, I've got to ride with my friends. And he's like, Well, hey, you know, why don't we just buy some shots and then head on over to my place and just you know keep the party going? Wow, hey. he was trying to get it in. <laughs> just like no, <laughs> and. Oh. So I get out of that, and a couple days later, he starts texting me. Whoa. Here's the creepy part. I don't, my cell phone is not public knowledge. What? It, I, I have a school line that they can call, but my cell phone is not public. So wait, did you give him your number? No, I did not. Do you think one of your friends Whoa. gave him your number? Trying to mess with you? I, I, I don't know, but he somehow got my number, and he's texting. Okay, you know, that was great the other night. Why don't we continue on? Let's go on another date. You know, let's, I've got some ideas, and I'm just like, I just can't. What? I can't do that. Are you responding to him? No, I don't know what to say to him. That's 
that's exactly why I'm calling you guys is yeah. because I, I don't know what to do. I mean, there's that fine line, and this is this is such a freaking awkward position. And, you know, he keeps asking if we can go on another date. We've never even been on a first date. Oh, my God. So he thinks you know? you're, he obviously thinks that your hangout, when he saw you at the bar and tried to get you drunk and take you home, was a date. Yes. He oh thought that was a date, and it was not an actual date. We oh did not. Gosh. He did not ask me out. I did not say yes. I actually was telling him no the whole night, and he. I don't know why no means yes to him, but that's what he's hearing. And he, I don't know. He, he's delusional. And why haven't you just texted him and said stop? Because I just don't want to talk to him. I don't want to engage with him. I don't want to. Yeah. I just don't want to continue the conversation. I just need. <laughs> I need you guys. So you want <laughs> us to call him. And tell him that you guys never went on a first date to begin with, and no, there will not be a second date or any other dates in the future. Are you guys able to do that? Absolutely. <laughs> we can do that. Okay. We're good at that. We'll play a song, come back, and then call this guy and tell him why you're not calling him back. It's, it's way different than any second date update we've ever done, but we'll do it right after this. Thank you. Uh, how? Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. I'm actually excited to call this guy for the second date update today. Really? Because I always wonder what goes through dudes' heads when they won't leave a girl alone, when they obviously don't want to go out with them again. Yeah. And I'm wondering what is going through this guy's mind. If you're unaware with what's going on, Steph called us for a second date update. Only problem is, it's not a traditional second date update because she at never all. actually went out on a date with the guy that she wants to call. And she was out at a bar one night. Mm -hmm. Guy came up to her and said, hey, you're my son's teacher. And then started buying her a bunch of drinks and trying to get her drunk. Even suggested going back to his place. She said no. And then somehow he got her phone number and has been texting her nonstop to go out on, quote, another date. So he thought that was a date. And now he's trying to get a second date. And she wants us to call him and say, go away. I think what I'd like to do, unless you're against it, I want to do this like we do a traditional second date update. All right, I'm not going to call the guy and tell him to go away right away. I'll be like, you went on a date with Steph so that we can hear him actually <laughs> break down the date that he thinks you went on before we tell him to get lost. Can we do that? You know, whatever works. I mean, as long as you can just get the creep to back off. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. I'm going to make the call right now. Hello? Hi. Is this Chris? Yeah. Hey, Chris, how you doing? I've been looking for you. Why? Who is this? Oh, this is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Oh, are you, ser you serious? Yeah, man. How are you? Uh, okay. Are you, you guys are calling me from the radio station? Yeah. Actually, I wanted to call you about a date you recently went on. What? I heard that you recently went out on a date with one of your son's teachers. Um, yeah. How did you hear about that? Oh, because Steph, the woman who you went out on a date with, actually emailed us and asked us to call you. Um, I mean, it's weird she would email you guys. Okay. Yeah, well, she wanted us to find out why you guys haven't had a second date yet. Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah, we talked to her a little bit about the first time you guys hung out, and she told us about your date, and she's wondering why you guys haven't gone out again. I mean, why didn't she just call me? I don't understand. I don't know. Some maybe nerves or something like that. She wanted us to do it. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Did you like going on a date with her? Uh, yeah, I mean, she's nice. Um, she hasn't really been in touch with me, so I kind of wanted, you know, things kind of just fizzled out. So I wanted to. Oh, weird. You know. She didn't tell us that. She just told us that she went on a date with you and wanted us to get you on the phone. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I mean, I, I, like I said, she hadn't got back to me, so I, I thought she just wasn't interested in me, you know? Yeah, maybe she wanted to do it this way. So anyway, tell us about that date with her. Uh, yeah, we went to a bar, and you know, just hanging out, you know, had a couple of drinks, and, uh, you know, oh, you I thought guys, we were having a... You guys actually went to a bar together? Yeah, I mean, you know, it was, we were at the bar together, so... Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> nice. Bar's always a good place for a first date. Uh, yeah, I, I think so. You know, nice, lively, people having fun, dancing, drinking, you know. So. Yeah, okay. for sure. But Chris, what made you think that you guys had a connection? Um... Well, you know, we were, again, we were having drinks and we were talking and, uh, you know. <laughs> so you guys hung out and talked and she said that at the end of the night you did ask her to go back to your place. Yeah, I, you know, I, I kind of felt that party could have kept going. So we, I just invited her back to my place and that's when she kind of lost interest or I don't know. It just seemed weird at that point. 
that's interesting because you feel like she likes you. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought everything was fine till that point. I don't know. Maybe she was just tired. I don't know. Yeah, it could be. Let me ask you, what were you, uh, what were you hoping to get from all this? Just to like hook up with your son's teacher or actually like date her? <laughs> well, the thing is, you know, you know, my son is in her class and my plan was I kind of had a plan to get her a couple of drinks, you know, be nice and kind of hang out because my son's having a little bit of trouble in her class. So I was hoping that maybe, you know, if things went well between us, not only would I be able to hook up with her because, she's, you know, she's attractive, but <laughs> that my son would maybe, you know, show him a little bit more, you know, attention, you know, help him get along a little better. Oh, Wait a second. Are you saying <laughs> that you wanted to go out with her to help your son do better in school? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but also, I mean, she, again, she's attractive. If she wasn't attractive, I wouldn't have done it, but... Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, my god. Hey, Chris, gosh. I do have another question for you, too. Like, at the end of the night, when you got her phone number from her, were you excited about that? Um, yeah. That's interesting. Whoa. That's interesting, because she told us she never gave you her phone number. I mean, technically, she didn't. Techni okay, so how did you get her number, then? Uh, you know, um... I just just came upon it, you know. I just found it, you know. What? Oh, come on! You just found her number. <laughs> you don't just you are so creepy right now. How did you get her number? Well, I, I, at this point, I don't think it matters. I mean, she obviously wants to go out on a second date because she had you guys call. So, you know. you know what? I'd rather not comment on what you just said. I'm just gonna let her do it because Steph is actually on the other line listening right now and would like to talk to you. Well, wait, what? Yeah, Steph, you there? Hi, Chris. <laughs> Hi, what, what's uh, going on? Well, that's actually my question to you, Chris. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't know what you mean. First off, we were never on a date. <laughs> Our paths cross in a bar, and we just happen upon each other. That's life. That does not mean that we went on a first date. Even if we had a conversation and there were drinks in our hand, that does not mean that we were on a date. Well, it's kind of weird you're saying this now. I mean, because, you know, with everybody listening, because the other night you were, you were flirting and everything was fine. Okay, Chris, let me spell it out for you. I am your son's teacher. I am not a girl for you, okay? And second of all, I don't know how you got my phone number, but you better delete it and you better not contact me. Ever again, there is a phone number at school that you can reach me and leave a voicemail if it pertains to your son. And third of all, do not use me as some kind of toy to get better grades for your son. <laughs> yeah, your friends did tell me you play hard to get. This is kind of, you know, this is kind of cool. <laughs> the friends? Her friends what? told you that she'd play hard to get? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're the ones that gave me the number. They said she would, you know, be like this. Oh, my God. All right, I think we finally figured out what happened. <laughs> Chris, I think you were set up, man. I think well, both you guys were actually set up. Well, uh, yeah, I honestly don't know what, what the hell's going on here. I think that Steph was not into you, yeah. and her friends knew that, so they gave you her phone number so that you would bug her. <laughs> Steph, does that sound right? Yeah, it sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, they did this whole thing to set it up so we can actually get together. I got it. No! No, <laughs> no, 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 Chris. <laughs> just, just ignore everything that my friend said, okay? I can do that. I think we uh, we actually need to discuss it over like a beer or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> not getting it. Oh, my God. I am not interested. I'm not interested, okay? Okay, wow. Um... So what about my kid, though? How's that? Wait, are you are you still trying to get better grades for your kid, Chris? I think you, you've lost this whole battle, man. Yeah, dude. All right. Oh my gosh. Well, I just you know I heard she favors other kids. I just want her to favor my kid the same. Excuse me. I okay. I don't know where you heard that, but I treat every one of my students with respect and dignity, and I treat them all the same. They just learn differently. That is not called favor. Yeah. That is called being a teacher. But Steph, aren't you glad that you finally have an involved parent, though? Oh, my God. Um. <laughs> yeah. Involved. Teachers always want that. I guess not in this case. I always have to ask this question on a second date. Oh, Maybe God. I'll ask it a little differently for this one. Chris, would you like to not go out on a date with Steph? We will not pay for it. And Steph, would you like to not go on a date with Chris? We will not pay for it. Yes. Okay, wonderful. Uh, 
I'm going to have to say uh, no to the first question and yeah to the second question. But, I'm, I mean, I'm still not sure what it really means. All right. well, <laughs> I just think it means that you guys aren't going to go out on a date. So yeah, will you yeah. stop texting Steph, Chris? I mean, I, I guess I can stop texting her. I mean, I don't really understand what happened. I know. I know. I know. Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Somebody texted in at 78592 and all it says is, take a hint. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning talking about the second date update. (laughs) Steph called us. She's a teacher. Mm -hmm. She really wanted to do the second date update to tell this guy to stop bugging her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Less of a, hey, I want to see him again. More of a tell him to go away. Because they hung out at a bar. She actually teaches his kid. And they hung out because he was at the same bar, and then he said that they went on a date together and would not stop calling her. Found out that's because her friends <laughs> told him, oh, yeah, she's really into you, and gave yeah. him her phone number. I bet, I bet they didn't even realize it was going to be that bad. No. Well, you it was know? great because they go, no, 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 she'll play hard to get. Like, yeah. don't give up. Don't that's give up no matter what. That's the best part of the whole thing. And yeah, we tried jerks. and tried and tried to tell him she wasn't interested. He still, he finally got it at the end, like, oh, <laughs> And then he just wanted to date her so his kid could get a better grade. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's texted in right now. I can see why the kid's not doing so well in class. Mm-hmm. Like father, like son. Yep. A little slow. <laughs> Remember, if you want a second date update, just email the show. We'll call the person who didn't call you back.